Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today, we're taking a look at 8DO's Anthology. Anthology Strings is their reimagining of the Adagio and Agitato libraries. The library downloads as 43 gigabytes and is made up of over 66,000 samples, three section types, one for ensemble, chamber, and solo. You've got three mic positions, a mixed close so far. It does require the full version of Contact 5.5 or higher. The library sells for $699 from 8DO. Before we dig into anthology, I'd love to invite you to join Sample Library Review VIP list. Just head over to samplelibraryreview.com and look for the join VIP list. That way we'll be able to send you a little digest every week talking about the new written reviews and videos we publish, as well as some special offers and freebies from our developer friends. For Anthology, 8DO has fit everything into three main NKIs. One for Ensemble, Chamber, and Solo. You've got ten different articulation slots. You can click and load up your different articulations. You can even assign your own key switch or CC. Here's some samples with the Ensemble, flipping through some of the articulations. The ensembles have two different legatos, a legato one, which is extremely lyrical. And the legato two, which is a much smoother legato. is pretty advanced. It's nice that they found a way to put all of the sections or solo instruments into one user interface. The Divisi sections are surprisingly rich in tone. us to my first critique of the instrument as the articulations across ensemble, the VC, and solo instruments are inconsistent. And we really like to have had all of those articulations from the ensemble patch across the VC and the solo instruments as well. I was pleasantly surprised by the sound of the solo instruments as well.
So one of the things that's really nice is each of the articulations has its own set of master controls. You can see here with the sustains, you've got a certain combination with the legato, you get the control for speed as well as legato volume and vibrato. On legato 2, there is no vibrato controls. It's a much smoother legato. So it's nice that you have the variations and controls for all of those. Uh, you've got several different great sounding halls uh, to mix and play with. I think that these halls just sound great, but a, a lot of that credit, I think, goes to the string sample set, which sounds superb. The microphones, it comes loaded up normally with just your mixed microphone position, which does sound really good. If you wanted to get a bit more bite, you could load up your close mic and then adjust your far a little bit back. Or if you're looking to just add a solo string up in front, you could go with close and just kind of set it right behind your mix. That'll add a lot of life to that. EQ on the front as well. Although, um, you know, with a contact instrument, I usually will just use a uh, channel strip EQ. And the back end on all of these instruments comes with the effects 8DO is integrated in. I think the big highlight of this library is the sound. It is present and it has a lot of uh, bite to it as well as low ends for your, your low strings. And it just sounds really beautiful. It's nice that they found a way to put all of the sections or solo instruments into one user interface. Now, there were a few posts out around forums and the internet about this library having some slow load times. Uh, looks like that might be isolated to a Windows antivirus conflict, although uh, if you're having load times, just email 8DO. They may have more information. As for me, I was able to batch resave, as you should with all your contact libraries, and had load times off my SSD in less than 15 seconds even switching over to both the close and far mics for the gigantic 3.67 gigabyte sample set, I was able to load the instrument in less than 12 seconds. The first con for me is I would have really liked to have consistent articulations across the ensemble, the Divisi, and the solo instruments. Another thing if I'm going to be picky about is this arc control, the speed. It's a little confusing. It does take some getting in uh, setting a MIDI CC and playing back to record new MIDI information before you can find just the right amount of length that you want. And that goes the same here for Legato 1. It does work well. It does take me another pass to get it smooth, although it would have been nice if they maybe were tempo synced, uh, but or maybe just an option to go back and forth between if it's a tempo based legato or a speed based legato. Now, if you owned any of the Adagio Agitato strings, you are eligible for some upgrades. I'll be sure to include a link to 8DO's official upgrade chart for their scheme. And another thing I need to mention here is that this is kind of a follow-up review. I reviewed the all Adagio string bundle. I was thrilled with the sound of the library, although I did feel it was a bit overwhelming. Since Anthology is the um, reimagining of that library as well as the Agitato, I think it's important to say that it is extremely streamlined, very focused, and much easier to navigate through. Although if you look at it from moving from the Daggio and Agitato bundles to moving to Anthology, you might perhaps feel like you're missing out on the dozens of different sounding legatos as well as the lure instruments. So while perhaps 8DO took a giant leap to minimize any learning curve for you to be able to get some incredible sounding string parts in an instrument, in my opinion, they've streamlined the user experience and reduced your cost for entry. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you looking into Anthology as your first string library? Are you going to be upgrading from the Daggio or Agitato libraries? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. 
and head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news and reviews. Thank you.